We're making extract, so basically we're liquefying compost. No, we're not making a tea. A tea is made by putting compost in water and bubbling it for an extended period of time. And that's then exciting the organisms that are growing out. And so that way, once you get to the point where you can't maintain aerobic conditions in that tea environment, then you have to apply it and you have a very short window of time to apply it and it's very hard to store. Versus extracts, because we're not exciting the organisms, we have a much longer shelf life. So if something does go wrong, it starts to rain, or equipment breaks down, you can then save it and apply it tomorrow. Versus a tea, once you've made it, you have to apply it. And if something does break down, then it would have to be thrown out. And mostly what happens is you're growing bacteria that like high oxygen environments, and you're getting a really high volume of those few organisms, but you're losing the diversity. Tea does have its place in certain scenarios, more when you're trying to target a certain disease or the foliar application to get really high concentration of bacteria. But in terms of the more broad spectrum soil health approach where like we get diverse cover crops to diversify the microbes in the soil, that's the same thing with extracts. So we're maintaining the initial compost diversity and then something is more likely to be able to take yeah. into that system versus a tea, it might not be something that's even native to that system and so it will die.